it's Morgan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to make confetti eggs. And I have two special guests. Alright, this is... Camden. Layla. And how old are you, Layla? Eight. Layla's eight and you are... Six. Six years old and they're going to be helping me make confetti eggs. Also known as... Cascarones. Good job. All right. Oh. So we're just going to get right into the video. Okay. So first what you want to do is you're going to want to get your <coughs> eggs and crack them so you can get the yolk out. And you just go like this. Just make a little crack and then make a little hole at the top. You want to have a bowl so you can put the egg yolks in and then just empty it out like this so once you empty out your egg you're going to want to just rinse these out I'm going to show you all again make a little crack and empty it out <laughs> If you want, you could save the egg yolks and like, you know, cook with them. We're not going to save these ones. Because I just put the shells in. It looks like boogers. Yellow boogers. You have yellow boogers? Ew. Like Alright, so boogers. there's that. Since Now, since y'all know how to do that, we're going to go ahead and move on to the dyeing. To dye the eggs. And what you're going to need to dye the eggs, you're going to need boiling water. And you're going to need vinegar. We're just going to put one tablespoon per thing. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. You empty out your eggs and your egg yolks, wash them out, and then you're going to want to take your boiling water and pour it into your cups that have the one tablespoon of vinegar. The vinegar is going to help the eggs get, like, to help the dye stick to the ed eggs a lot better, and your eggs will be a lot more vibrant with the vinegar. Okay, so now that you poured your boiling water into your cup, you're going to want to take... Layla, will you hand me the food coloring, please? <laughs> okay, so then you're going to take your food coloring. And Camden, what color did you say you wanted to make blue? Yeah. Okay, so Camden, we're going to do the teal first. You're going to do five drops of blue. Five drops. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's good. Okay, 15 <laughs> drops of green. Okay, that's good. I think that's only one in 15, but that's fine. All right, and then just stir it up. Layla, you wanted to do like the orange? Okay, so the orange is 17 yellow. And three red. Good job. Next, I want to do yellow, just regular yellow. Honey drops. Oh, I don't even know how many that was. <laughs> and then we're going to do a blue. So we're doing a teal, a blue, an orange, and a yellow. Now, you're going to take your eggs that you just cleaned out, and you're, you're going to put them in the mix in the water. Oh, oh, there goes that guy. Did the egg fart? <laughs> yeah. Here's where I put one in. Put in that one. Push it down with that. Mm -hmm. yeah. don't, don't put the little thing in there because I just dropped one in there. Just put it off. Let's keep on going back. Okay. Oh yeah. And so you're just going to wait. make sure um, you submerge them all the way in the water. And then now you just wait. The longer you leave them in, the darker they will be. You can check them periodically to see. This is how this one looks. It's not that vibrant yet. And it still looks white. 
one. I mean, if you want like pastel ones, you don't have to leave them in that, that long. That would be really pretty, like pastel eggs. But we want them really bright, so that's why we're leaving them Mine is for turning longer. blue. Hopefully, this gives y'all enough time to Get down there, eggs. To make the Easter Get eggs before down. Easter. But I mean, really, you can make these any time of year. Like, you can make them for like a Halloween party and dye them like orange. Like, get a black permanent marker and make like a jack o' lantern. And you, like, dye them green and then make like a little witch face on them. You can just leave them white, make a ghost, and you can put like um, black and orange confetti on the inside. You can make them for like Fourth of July, dye them red and blue and put like a little star confetti. I mean, the possibilities are endless. You can have these for any holiday that you want. Right. You should do Okay, that. so whenever your eggs are done dying, you just bring them out, make sure you drain them. You can just use like a cookie drying rack. You don't have to get fancy and make like an egg drying rack. Like nobody has time to do that. So we use a cookie rack and it works just fine. Just put a towel down that you don't mind getting I already dyed some previous, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step, which is filling them with confetti. Okay, so for this next part, you're going to need your eggs that are dry. You want to make sure that the inside is dry because the, you don't want the confetti to get all like clumped in there and stuck. So usually we let ours dry overnight, and we've already done that here. So you're going to need your dry dyed eggs. You're going to need some glue. We're just using Mod Podge because that's what we have. You're going to need some assorted tissue paper cut up into little squares. And you're going to need some confetti. We are using paper confetti. I, we like to use pa paper confetti because it's biodegradable. It'll just melt away into the earth. But if you want to get, if you're just using it like just for like, you know, inside you're having a party, you want it to be like sparkly, you can use like this sparkly confetti type of, um, and we're going to do some of this too just for fun. You're going to take your egg. If you have a funnel, this will make it a lot easier because then you can just put it like this and funnel it in. And we like to put a lot of confetti in ours. and just put, it doesn't have to be neat, just put it around the edge, like that. Take your cut tissue paper and just put it around the edge. Now there's going to be extra on the edge, but we're just going to tear that off once this dries. So I'm just going to let it dry and do the rest of them. Very good, very good. Oh, that's fine. I don't like the whole thing. Alright. Good job. Put the Now that you have the have them sealed up, if they're dry, you can just come along and just just rip off the excess, just like that. Or you could cut it, whatever. After you seal them, if you want, you can decorate them um, with paint pens. You can decorate them with paint, paint markers, whatever. Sharpies. Then we're going to take the, this is Heidi Swap Color Shine Spray. Um, I use this for like my scrapbook. You can just, you spray it on paper and it like makes it have, have a sheen. Um, and the gold, they have different colors. I have gold and we're going to spray it on the so we just have some paint pen, paint 
paint pens and we're going to just decorate the bread. Whatever. Yeah, whatever you want to decorate. Now this is really good for kids. It's easy to paint pens. And then you can just customize them to however you want. You can write your name, you can write Happy Easter, you can do polka dots, zigzags. The possibilities are endless. Wayne love is so cute. This is one Layla did. Oh, how cute! Is it a cat? Yeah. Or is it... What is it? Is it just a little creature? Is it an Easter creature? Mm -hmm. Well, it sure is cute. So, these are the finished confetti eggs. And they're ready to pack. So, thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if y'all like DIY videos. Comment down below any video suggestions, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!